the sort area size parameter determines a maximum limit on sorting within memory for each session. Query rewrite enabled. Rewrite enabled and query rewrite integrity are both required to be set to enable function based indexing. Function based indexing is something covered in a previous course. It simply allows you to place functions into SQL statements such as in WHERE clause filtering statements or parts of SELECT statements allowing access to indexes containing the results of a function. In other words, a query with a WHERE clause containing a function can actually use an index. Back to query rewrite enabled. Essentially this parameter allows enabling or disabling of query rewriting on a global basis for the entire database. This leads us to the question, what is query rewrite? A query rewrite literally can rewrite a query. These rewrites are actually executed using materialized views, which we'll get to later on. But this parameter can be relatively important, particularly in data warehouse databases, which can use materialized views substantially. These three parameters determine the use of hash joins and bitmap merges. Enabling hash joins basically allows the use of hash joins within join statements, within SQL code join, which we will see in a subsequent chapter on SQL code tuning. A hash join is essentially a more efficient version of a nested loop join when you have large sets of data and a more efficient version of a sort merge join when you have large sets of data. It's a certain type of join that the optimizer uses internally. All you have to remember is that this parameter should probably be set to true, particularly in an OLTP database, not necessarily in a data warehouse database. And the hash area size parameter is essentially a buffer parameter within the PGA defining how much memory you can use for computing hash joins. Any hash join overflows go into temporary sort space on disk, which is really inefficient. The bitmap merge area size is a chunk of memory reserved for merges on range scans of multiple bitmap indexes. Quite often bitmaps only apply to data warehouses and I have heard some complaints about them in data warehouses as well. Typically they apply to index values with a very small number of different values, what they call low cardinality. However, I have seen them used successfully with thousands of values, but typically in data warehouses with very, very large tables and very large numbers of rows. I do not recommend using bitmaps in any type of OLTP or DSS database where the data is changed on a fairly substantial level over a period of time. The quality of bitmap indexes can deteriorate drastically over a number of years to the point where poor performance can make the database practically unusable. Bitmap indexes have to be rebuilt on occasion in the same way that B-tree indexes have to be rebuilt. These three parameters here plus the sort area size parameter and less importantly the sort area retain size parameter not listed here are part of the PGA. When using automated PGA in terms of the PG aggregate target parameter you don't need to set these values unless you're using shared servers you have to set sort area size. I must apologize here in that you're getting a lot of detailed information but this information is actually required for this certification exam. Another point to remember is that if you set hash area size to zero hash joins will be disabled regardless of the setting of hash join enabled.